Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. So as you can see, I've already shuffled your cards, laid them out and we can begin. So the first card that I'm looking at is giving me an indication of what many of you could be experiencing during this time. This particular card talks about trying to find balance in a situation where there is this element of uncertainty. I also get the impression from this particular card that some of you are trying to figure out what should you do. There might be a set of circumstances or things that have occurred in your love life that has caused you to feel as if you need to rethink, you know, your way going forward. So with this particular card, I also get the impression that there's a need to look at the situation from a different perspective because it feels as if there's a lot of things going on and you're not having a moment to catch your breath and to really figure things out. So I'll come back to this energy. The next energy that I'm looking at is showing to me now, what you have with this individual is a genuine love connection. There is something here between you and this person. It is of significant value. I feel like it could be a spiritual connection. For some of you, it could be a physical connection. It's something concerning, you know, feeling as if, you know, you feel the sense of comfort to this individual. You feel like they can take care of you. They can provide for you. You feel uh, drawn to them. It's a magnetic type of pull. So that's what I get from this particular card. It is very positive in nature. Now, when I look at the next energy, I'm getting a sense that the individual you're dealing with is sort of, you know, um, being a little bit laid back right now. It feels like they're just preoccupied with what is in front of them. They're not trying to think about a lot of things right now. It feels as if they're lost in thought, but they're trying to calm their energy. They're trying to be balanced. They're trying to be grounded and um, getting the impression that, you know, unlike you, which is coming from an energy of being distracted or feeling as if there's a lot going on, this person's energy is more stable right now. But let's clarify the cards to find out what's really going on. For some of you, this person that you're dealing with could be focused on their career right now. Their energy is uh, certainly not scattered. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the causes and books in the description box below. If you're interested in an opportunity to win a free tarot card reading, you can check out the community page on my channel and you can enter the requirements as follows. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. This person that you're dealing with, they certainly do have something that's going on underneath the surface. I get the impression that on the external surface, you know, how you look at them, how you see them, they're coming off as very calm and collective and cool. They're coming off as if nothing is affecting them, nothing is bothering them, nothing is troubling them. But beneath the surface, there could be an ocean of emotion that you're clearly not seeing. So I do get that impression from this individual that there's other things going on, you know, beneath the surface. It feels as if because of these emotions, these things that they're feeling, it could be a range of things, really. You know, this individual is not feeling compelled to move forward. They're trying to keep a very strong hold over themselves. They're not wanting to be controlled by their feelings and emotions during this time. Yeah, I get the impression that this person you're dealing with is not happy with what has happened between the two of you. They certainly do have some strong feelings. And I feel like when it comes to their energy, there's this energy coming from the past where they may have, you know, ran off. Maybe you couldn't pin them down. You couldn't get them to uh, commit in a relationship. These particular cards are giving me the impression that this individual may have, you know, walked away from this connection 
or perhaps there was an opportunity to offer romance and love or to come together in a stronger um, union and these two energies are showing to me that they may have left that or went um, and did their own thing it feels like that sort of energy so let's see let's look at the next card The next card is showing to me that, you know, the two of you came together because a higher power brought the two of you together. It's not that you just met this individual and this connection was some random connection. It does feel like there's something beautiful that uh, came into play. It could be that your guardian angels or their guardian angels led the two of you to one another. It feels as if you were led by, um, you know, these type of energies that you don't really see. So I feel like it was definitely a magical experience meeting this individual. You feel connected to them. For some of you, this could be a past life connection. For others, it could be a twin flame connection. In other situations, it could be a soulmate connection. But I'm definitely picking up that this is no ordinary sort of relationship. That's why you feel drawn to this individual. That's why you keep coming back and trying to figure out, you know, what is this connection because you can't release yourself from it. Now, this particular card is talking about waiting and waiting and waiting for things to improve when it comes to this relationship. You've really put your heart and soul into it. You know, most Scorpio individuals invest a lot of emotions into relationships. You don't do things by half measure in any sort of uh, endeavor that you take on. So I feel like you're looking for an opportunity to either come back together, but you feel as if this individual is resisting it or fighting their emotions. You know, from this energy alone, I did get the impression that, again, you know, they're coming off as calm, collected and cool, but uh, really underneath the surface, there's a lot of emotion there and you're not really seeing it and they're trying to keep control of it. And it feels as if, you know, this individual could be the type of person that tries to get away from their feelings and emotions, right? So this beautiful love, this beautiful opportunity came upon you and this individual and perhaps the two of you fell in love. But I feel like right now, you know, you and this individual might be going through some difficult and challenging times where you may feel as if there's external influences affecting this connection or perhaps if someone is giving in to some of their, um, you know, nature or instinct in the situation. Maybe they're feeding their insecurities. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are very afraid that you may have missed your opportunity or perhaps this individual is not going to be there for you in a way that you're hoping for them to. Yeah, I feel like, you know, when it comes to your energy, you may not know what to do because you don't know if you can trust this individual. Maybe they deceived you or someone deceived you. Someone is not being completely honest in this situation. And I feel like it's making your energy very unsettled, imbalanced. You don't know which way to turn. The next card is showing a lot of worry from your energy. And I'm picking up that you're still hopeful that you can make this into, you know, a, a beautiful relationship. But one individual might not be talking or if they are talking, they're not putting as much passion and love as they did at one point in time. Yeah, I see that many of you are very, very hard workers. You're very dedicated. You're, you're wanting to work this out. But you also feel as if if they don't pull up their socks, you know, you don't want to be um, just waiting for no reason. So I see from your energy again that you're looking very closely 
at this individual trying to see where you stand or trying to see what you need to do next. There could have been a conflict or argument that happened between the two of you. Perhaps the two of you were disagreeing about things. I feel like this individual you're dealing with, there's something a little bit peculiar about their behavior. But let's see. For those of you that are unaware, there is an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Yeah, I'm seeing from this individual's energy that they're very confused right now about whether or not they should come back towards you and potentially offer you, you know, a fresh start, a new beginning in love. It feels as if they're sitting still. They could be in denial about their emotions. It feels as if this individual, you know, doesn't want to make a decision. And so many of you could be looking constantly on their social media or trying to figure out, you know, what is this individual up to? Why are they, you know, hiding away from you? You know, what are they not showing to you? Yeah, I'm picking up this energy of this person being hurt or perhaps too afraid to take a chance because they got hurt before. So this person that you're dealing with, I feel like they don't know how to move forward. Yeah. I get the impression that something is blocking them from offering you love again. They still see you as attractive, but I feel like they are fighting this. They're fighting this very hard. They don't know what to do. Okay, their energy is very scattered when it comes to making a decision. Your energy is very scattered when it comes to what to do with regard to this relationship. I'm seeing that because of this fight, argument, disagreement, everything is at a standstill right now. You could be feeling as if you can't move out of this situation or out of this energy which has restricted you, which has limited you. You know, you could be feeling a great sense of loneliness. You might want to rush back towards this individual, but there's that element of trust or not feeling or having faith that they're going to, you know, take the reins of this relationship and really move things forward. So there is that element of fear coming off from the fact that uh, you don't know how they're going to respond to you or, you know, are they going to be honest with you? It feels like that sort of energy. Lots of worry, lots of things that haven't been discussed. Yeah. Coming back to this energy of confusion, there's major indecisiveness when it comes to uh, what was said or what was done between the two of you. And there's a lot of heartbreak here because of the nature of the words, the actions taken. Yeah, I feel like many of you are still hopeful of having love with this individual. You still have a lot of passion here, but uh, because you're not receiving any sort of, uh, you know, sign from this person, I feel like a lot of you are feeling a little bit helpless right now. You could be thinking to yourself, like, you can't be waiting forever. You need to know where you truly stand with this individual, okay? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at this um, individual's energy in more detail okay I'm going to focus on how you should move forward or what do you need to do in respect of this connection right you can find the link in the description box below have a wonderful day and take care